Welcome to the fourth annual UNISA Research and Innovation Week. As a university, we've actually committed ourselves to producing research beyond the level of uh, our own scholars. This Research and Innovation Week is a way to remind ourselves of the quality research that happens at this university and provide a platform for cross-disciplinary engagement on topical issues that concern all of us as researchers from different fields. Focused on establishing UNISA as a leading research institution, the 2015 UNISA Research and Innovation Week firstly provided a platform for cross-disciplinary engagement on topical issues and one that promotes collaboration between multidisciplinary expertise. Secondly, the week provided an ideal opportunity to showcase some of the excellent research done by UNISA. And finally, it created an opportunity to recognize and acknowledge outstanding UNISA researchers for the quality of research they have done. This year's program themed Serious About Research featured key speakers from BRICS, the US, Australia, Canada and the UK and in-depth discussions on the challenges faced in research in our country, the continent and the world. The British education system has not dismantled the norms, networks and experiences that reproduces white privilege. In some, there is a need to improve social justice. With mathematical model, we can answer lots of what if scenario. What if this happens? What are the things that can occur? I think that diversity of opinion obviously matters more than what people look like but what people look like is a great proxy, an important proxy. Topics included debates on the transformation in higher education, water for humanity in Africa, and the challenges of poverty and inequality in South Africa. There's no other major country in the Global South that redistributes uh, as substantially from the rich to the poor through the social assistance system. On the other hand, it has very modest social insurance. Unfortunately, we still have a health system that is divided. We aspire to make sure that the citizens of this country live with dignity. We aspire to ensure that there's social justice in this country and we commit to improving the lives of all South Africans. In addition, various conferences and workshops and the theoretical and mathematical epidemiology workshop presented in collaboration with the University of Pretoria. fourth annual BRICS conference on energy materials and innovation. Nanomaterials, I think, are very attractive and promising, not only for the emerging PV technologies that I show you today, but also for the photocatalysis. Before going to make a new form of energy, let's try to use what ESCOM is giving us. Joburg Waterworks, they've got six treatment plants, and they receive about one billion liters of sewage per day. And this has a potential of producing 8.5 megawatts of electricity. The FameLab International Research Communications Competition, designed to engage and entertain, featured several young UNISA academics. We had to do it in three minutes. We had to be creative and we had to step out of our roles as academics. I'm glad I did it because it forced me to think about my research. It forced me to engage with it. College activities included sessions hosted by all UNISA colleges, including the Graduate School of Business Leadership. Every person from, can participate in higher education, so we have to create the platform for any person to better himself in terms of education. The final day of the UNISA Research and Innovation Week focused on community-engaged and performative research. The week also saw a world first, the launch of UNISA's Material and Process Synthesis Research Unit, MAPS, at NEXA. 
a world-class laboratory for researching the conversion of waste into energy, featuring small-scale reactors for the studying of fissure troughs. Musicology at Genisa aims to educate and empower students through technology, to embrace their African heritage, and to share it with one another and the world through performance, composition, and research. The problem for us as practitioners is to turn a body at work into a body of work, because that is how research funding organizations and academy itself conceives of what we do. Our research and innovation portfolio is focused on strengthening our university towards becoming a leading provider of postgraduate programs on our continent. Let me say to all the award-winning researchers tonight, this evening is about you. We honor your research accomplishments. And in so doing, we celebrate the promise that you represent of an even greater accomplishment in the days and the years ahead. I look forward to us collaborating and partnering in this important enterprise of taking not just our country, but the entire African continent into a space in which innovation is a driver of development. As a university, we would be nothing without the individual researchers who do the excellent work. This is where we get a chance to showcase what are we doing and also to interact with other people. We invite uh, most of the members of the BRICS to come here and showcase what they do so that we can learn from each other and also opportunities for collaborations. Without research, you can't have innovation because research is about searching again and again for solutions to the demands of where you find yourself, where society finds itself. We need those people to, to be here to help us. Help us, you know, go over this, this, this new thing we want to create here. We've had a fantastic week. Lots of engagement, lots of critique, and lots of work to do ahead. Thank you so much for joining us for this Research Innovation Week. We'll see you next year and for many, many more years of the UNISA Research and Innovation Week. Thank you. The UNISA Research and Innovation Week 2015 where research feeds teaching and teaching reinvigorates research.